So if we look at the amount of costs, budget, going to sales training for the average sales rep, give or take, it's about, for U.S. companies, about $1,500 per rep, which is about 20% higher than any other worker and any other job function in the enterprise. And yet, there's not really any clear line of sight of that person changing behavior or upskilling. To me, not to be pejorative, but it feels like a binder and a bill. You go in, you do your training, you get the binder, and then you get invoiced on it. How, first, is that a big problem from your perspective? And then second, why is it allowed to persist and what needs to change? Yeah. Well, first, remember who you're speaking to here. You know, I ran a business, but now, you know, I'm a professor. What's wrong with binders? <laughs> the issue is analogous, in my view, uh, to uh, public education in America. The issue is not how much money we're spending. The issue is how we spend it. Mm. And when you look at how that money is spent, a couple of things. Uh, one is, in all seriousness, your point about you know, binders is exactly right. The majority of sales training remains classroom training, right? The, the, they're, they're sort of flown in, they're bombarded with information. There's been very good research about this. And the research indicates that most people in that situation literally forget 80 plus percent of that mm -hmm. information within 60 days. The second thing is sales in particular is a great example of, I'm going to get academic uh, for a second, but it's a great example of what the learning theorists call modeling behavior. If there's something like 4,000 plus colleges and universities in the United States, right? Of those 4,000 plus, last time I looked, less than 150 even had a sales course, let alone a sales program. Now, the other factoid is if you look at employment, more than 50% of college graduates, no matter what their major is, whether it's business administration or art history, more than 50% wind up working in sales at some point in their career. Most salespeople join a sales force completely unprepared. What it means is that just-in-time training is very, very important. Sales is an area that is, of all the other business functions, is probably the most task-oriented. Salespeople learn when they're on their way to make a call. But if you sort of look at sales training, it remains mainly show and tell. Video is still underutilized and video is a big learning multiplier. The research indicates that the retention of information when there's a video component is six times what it is when there's not a video component. This is an area that's ripe for big productivity improvements.